I'm Sir SirTapTap, and the new Abyssrium sequel, I guess, has been announced. Abyssrium Pole, or the full title, Tap Tap Fish Abyssrium Pole. I, especially considering Cheetah Mobile was the one that made the Tap Tap Fish thing. I really think they could have chopped that extra bit of the name and just made it Abyssrium Pole. Sounds more interesting. But, that's right. Abyssrium 2. Finally. Um, so we don't really know a great deal of information about this from some of the screenshots It appears it may have like, you know tablet mode or just you know landscape mode Just because some of the screenshots appear to be in Landscape there's a little website and not really a whole lot of info <laughs> very very bare bones all of the gameplay features that it says are identical to um, <laughs> the <laughs> Original Abyssrium, but hey, um, my biggest hope for this game, I suppose, there's a little trailer. We'll, we'll take a look at that. Um, come on now. That's a little loud. So, a lot of the graphics are taken directly from the first game. Um, in fact, the only thing definitely new appears to be the big old iceberg with coral on it. Oh. <laughs> There's really, there's really just 15 seconds of it, huh? Yeah, there's a big ol' iceberg, and there is... It appears to be... Um, <laughs> not, not that. Um, <laughs> wrong image. Um, perhaps relevant to, to Abyssrium, though. But, um... There we go. Um... There appears to be like an above ground kind of thing, which this looks suspiciously like Penguin's Isle, by the way. I wonder, did Penguin's Isle know this was coming and rip this off? Or did Abyssrium see Penguin's Isle and see that they had like some kind of competition and rip them off? Or is it just a co it could just be a t total coincidence. I mean, if you were to have something at the pole and you didn't have penguins, I mean, you're doing something wrong. But yeah, there's there's some screenshots here. Coral doesn't really grow inside of icebergs, but I guess that's fine. It, it looks pretty, that's what's important, right? Um, my biggest hope for this game, I guess, would be... I want it to be like Abyssrium back in 2016, I guess? Back right when Abyssrium launched, uh, there was really very little pressure to watch ads. I mean, it sped up your progress by a lot, but it wasn't like hard required. Like, there weren't any fish that was just literally, hey, watch 500 ads for me. Or anything like that. So, I, I felt just fine watching ads. Ironically, I felt just fine watching ads when it didn't feel like ads were as necessary. The more they tried to force me, like, hey, you can need to watch like 50 ads a day to get minimal progress. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just not play. So, I really hope it's kind of back to that more generous, more relaxed, relaxed and fun kind of thing. And not all about mashing your fingers against your screen until you just... You know, have bloody stumps for hands. Um, they, they still advertise chill and relaxing, easy to learn, simple to play, and all this, like, relaxing stuff. Um, the game has not been relaxing for a long time, at least the first game. I'm hoping this game is kind of a return to form. They did change. Um, Idle Idea Factory is now a subsidiary of Flaro Games, so Cheetah Mobile kind of messed things up a lot, and we all kind of expected this would happen. But, um... I'm hopeful that things are a little bit better. Can we get a second music track, maybe? If this game had like three music tracks, I would be happy. <laughs> like, love the main Abyss Room theme, very calming, but I I must have heard it thousands of times over the last um, three years now. <laughs> so please, more music, longer music tracks. Um, please have a Subnautica 2. Um, below zero crossover event. That would be amazing. They're both set in the ice. Come on, man. Perfect, perfect synergy. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be a paid game, but that does not appear to be the case. Um, I would love just an Abyssrium that you pay like 20, 30 bucks up front, and there's just no bullcrap. That would just no bullcrap. That's my dream game, <laughs> really. That's right, Parker. That's right. Hello. So, I guess I've largely run out of things to say about it, considering there's not much known. It is launching this December, very early this December, according to the App Store. That's right. So, 
as you might expect, I'll have guides on it whenever it's out, and there's like, you know, I can figure out things to put- Whoa! Sorry, my cat is like, amazingly graceful, and definitely not extremely clumsy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Speaking of Penguin's Isle, I'm probably checking that out really soon, if not having already made a video before I publish this. So yeah, Abyssrium Pole, hoping that it's more like classic Abyssrium. It kind of leaves Abyssrium in a really weird, awkward place though, because like, last year, this would have just been a separate tank, like the freshwater tank. So, I don't know. As long as we get to leave behind a lot of the design decisions that have plagued you know, Abyssrium since 2017, and mostly 2018 and 19. That was really when it got bad. 2017 wasn't too bad. Um, it was really... <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of sinusoidal. It kind of gets really, really bad, and then it kind of drops down a little bit and gets a little bit worse, or better. But then the next peak is worse than the last peak, and it's just... Yeah. So I hope we just start Flatline Zero. Actually fun game. But uh, we'll see what we got when it comes out. Hoping for the best. Um, there'll be a guide on SirTapTap.com as well as on this web, you know, channel. Make sure to su subscribe and hit that little bell icon because subscribing isn't enough anymore. Thanks, YouTube. I, I really appreciate that. Thanks. Great. TapTap -tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.